All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this video. March 24th, 2023, it's now 12.53 p.m. I'm not sure if you can see a halo or not through this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my dream. It looks like I could maybe see a, a, an edge of a circle over on the top. Am I zoomed out? I can't see. Yes, I'm zoomed out. Okay, um, so here's my dream. It was really strange. I was living back in Buffalo, Iowa. Yeah, I can see the edge of the halo. I was living back in Buffalo, Iowa, and it's near the river. The house I lived at was near the river. There was like a the river, and then a little beach, and then a hill, and then the railroad tracks, and then our house. But uh, I'm standing looking outside, and there's an earthquake that happens. It didn't seem like it was a bad earthquake, but after that, I saw a tsunami wave coming off of the Mississippi River. And it looked like it was about six feet, because it was, it was like my head level. So it was about six feet tall. And it hit the house and all the windows held. Some of the windows leaked a little bit. Some, some of the water leaked in just a little tiny bit, but none of the water came crashing through. And then it, after that, I woke up and I went to the bathroom and I went back to bed and I continued the dream. And then uh, there was a lot of people in the house that I don't even know who they were. And I told everybody, everybody needs to go upstairs because like, there was another tsunami wave coming and everybody went upstairs and I'm looking out the window and it looks like the the tsunami wave was like chest level so I'm guessing it was about 15 feet high just a, a, a rough estimate and before you know it was coming in but before it hit I woke up so there wasn't much to the dreams but it was weird about the tsunami waves and off of the Mississippi River. I don't know if that's even possible for a tsunami wave to be that big off of the Mississippi River from an earthquake, but it was, it was a strange dream I had. Very strange dream. So there it is. I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. <sighs> I'm feeling a lot better. I don't feel sick no more. I got a little <clears throat> scratchiness in my throat, but I feel, I feel good. At least I'm not all drained and no energy. I feel... I feel good. So praise God for that. And praise God for, uh, you know, he's going he's gonna to come through with an answer. I talked to the ex-roommate, and he's still uh, not going to, he's not going to move back in, at least not yet. And I said, if we could just find somebody to move in for a couple months, I mean, how's that going to happen? But he says he might know somebody. And I was like, who? And he hasn't got back to me. He's at work right now, so he'll probably answer me when he's on uh, a break or when he gets off of work in, a, in about an hour. So I'll let you guys know an update on things. Maybe something can work out still with this. All right, so thanks for watching. God bless. I love you guys.